Hi everyone. I had to come outside because my husband's doing work calls and my daughter's doing school. So, um, this video, I am going to talk about my story of making light boxes for the Baba Yaga VR project. Uh, I tell you my research and development, um, where I source materials, and then I get into how I actually assembled the boxes for the project. I hope you enjoy. Back in February, I was contacted by the Baobab Studios and they said they had a VR project that was going to be uh, announced at the Tribeca Film Festival. Could I please help them create cool light boxes with the Baba Yaga art inside? So the first step was what kind of art they wanted inside. They sent me this from their team and that was a great jumping off point. So I took this image and I cut out various layers. I had some vellum at home and I also had some white paper. So what I did was I took this image and made a kind of a rough version and showed the team and they really liked the effect. I just took vellum and I took white paper and then the three layers of black paper and it created a pretty close effect to this. The next step was getting frames. That was kind of tricky um, to get that many frames within our budget in a very short amount of time. But luckily I live 10 minutes away from an Ikea. So I run over there and I found these. The first step was to get all of the frames unwrapped and prepared for the art to go inside. While I was waiting for my paper cutouts to be made with the laser machine, I got busy making the Baba Yaga heads. I used the art that they sent me and I cut out the head and used that as my template. Once I had my heads cut out, I started putting in some more details. Like I cut out the other eye on the other side and I scored the head to give it some shape. I then bend it into place and I score the back of the nose to give it even more dimension. A stamp of the Baba Yaga logo was created. I stamped each of the foreground sheets. Once I had all my layers and elements ready to go, I could begin assembling into each of the frames. So my first layer is Magda and the background. Second layer is the vellum. And the third layer was more forest elements. These frames all came with tabs, so that was really wonderful. I pushed all of them down and it helped secure those three layers and the frame in front into place. Next, I took my foam blocks. I cut out 600 of these for all the frames. I used my glue gun and secured them to each of the corners of the frame. This is going to give a little space inside of the frame for the mask, the head, to go into. This is the stage where I take the third laser cutout layer of the forest background and glue it to the back of the plexiglass. Now my heads are ready to go in. I know just where to place them between the dangling ivy. Now I'm at my final step where I have to glue the backing in. I apply a little bit of hot glue to each of my foam cubes and then I quickly and carefully put that back layer in. I secure it down and I let it dry. Here it is, the final assembled frame. When held up to the light, it creates a very cool glowy effect. Well, I hope you liked that video. Uh, Baobab Studios will be releasing the Baba Yaga VR project later this year. Uh, to learn more about the project, please visit babayagavr.com. And also don't forget to subscribe to their YouTube channel. Thank you so much. Take care.